Voters in 15 U.S. states and American Samoa will head to the polls on Tuesday to indicate whom they favor as their party's nominee in the November presidential election. Democratic President Joe Biden and Republican predecessor Donald Trump are each expected to draw closer to securing their party's nomination. Former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley, who is trailing Trump for her party's nomination, told NBC's Meet the Press Sunday she'll continue in the race for as long as voters want her to be. They'll show it in their votes. They'll show it in their donations. My focus is we need to start respecting taxpayer dollars. We need to reduce the size of government. We need to secure our borders and be a country of law and order. And we believe in peace through strength. Immigration is also among the topics that former President Trump chose to focus on ahead of what it's known as Super Tuesday. Not one more innocent American life should be lost to migrant crime. Got to stop it. You have to get out the vote because we have to send big numbers up for November 5th. We have to let them know that we're a freight train and we're going and we're not stopping. President Biden, who visited the Texas border last week, accuses Trump of scuttling a bipartisan border security bill. This past Saturday, First Lady Jill Biden shed light on another topic that she argues voters should consider ahead of Super Tuesday, women's reproductive rights. He's considering a national abortion ban. Donald Trump is dangerous to women and to our families. We simply cannot let him win. President Biden is all but guaranteed to be his party's nominee. On the Republican side, Trump needs to secure at least 1,215 delegates to officially secure the nomination. It could take several days for all of Tuesday's results to be formally announced. Veronica Valderas Iglesias, VOA News, Washington.